Welcome to this video where we will be speaking about the importance of bodily posture and gesture during the holy sacrifice of the Mass. How we hold our bodies, how we carry ourselves is really, really, really important. If you think about in just the secular world or in uh, body language is really important. If I stand like this all the time, you know without me saying anything that I'm angry or I'm set or I'm closed off. If I stand around like this, I look like, like Superman. If I'm like this, it seems like I'm warm, happy, inviting. How we carry ourselves is really, really important. And thus, how we carry ourselves at Mass is really important. When we're at Holy Mass, we're going to begin with how we stand. When we stand at Holy Mass, we stand with our legs apart around shoulder width. Our hands are folded at our chest like this. Traditionally, we're going to take our right hand and place it over our left hand so that our thumbs lock like this and our hands are folded here. Notice how my hands are not like this or this or this or this. My hands are like this. This is how I stand at Mass. My head remains focused on whatever is taking place during the Mass, either just looking straight ahead or having my head turn towards the priest, whether he is standing at the altar, or the chair, or the ambo. How I hold myself and carry myself is really important. It's also really important that my feet remain steady. I shouldn't be swaying back and forth, or side to side. My feet should not be crossed over or under. I shouldn't be rocking my feet or tapping my feet. I'm standing attentive to what's taking place. So this is how we stand. Second is how we sit. When we sit, we take our hands and we place them on our knees. We don't play with our cincture. We don't crack our fingers. We don't bite our fingers. We don't pick our nose. Our hands are kept on our lap close to our knees. We also sit up straight with our shoulders back. And once again, our head is going to follow what is taking place in the sanctuary. This is how we stand. And this is how we sit. It's important for us to, to be really, really attentive. It may seem like this is being really hypersensitive to certain things, but it's not. It's really important. So we're going to stand again, and we're now going to use our head to show reverence to Jesus, his mother Mary, and the saint of the day. We show reverence to the name of Jesus by bowing our head. Any time that the name of, that Jesus is said during the Mass, we bow our head. We also do so for the name of Mary and also the saint of the day. So if I was concluding a prayer, I might say, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Or I might, in the prayer, mention the name Mary. Or if it's the feast of St. John Vianney, or the feast of St. Philomena, I would bow my head as, at, that, at that point as well. Bodily posture and gesture are really, really important. Whether we're standing, we're sitting, we're bowing our heads, we're holding our hands. It's all important. I'd like to also now introduce what is a bow. We bow at Mass at several times. We bow to an altar. We bow to the priest after we assist or serve him with communion patterns, the water and the wine, the washing of the hands. We also bow during the creed, the profession of faith, when we speak the lines about the incarnation of our Lord. When we bow, our hands are folded and together, and we bow at the waist. Now, when we bow at the waist, notice that it's not about me shrugging my shoulders and going like this. That's not bowing, that's shrugging your shoulders. To bow at the waist is to move the body actually at the waist level. So I'm actually bowing at the waist. My back is flat, my, sh my shoulders are actually back as I bow properly at the waist. I'll invite Luke and Randy to bow. 
when we bow properly, it really is a beautiful way of showing reverence. Sometimes bows get done as just kind of like a requirement, like, oh, I need to do this as I walk from point A to point B. If we understand who we're bowing to, why we're bowing, I think it helps us to, to honor the Lord in a very, very profound way. So, how we stand, how we sit, how we hold our hands, how we bow is really, really important. Another gesture that's important for us is, is our hands. Many times during Mass, you'll be doing something with your right hand and your left hand won't have anything to do. Let's take, for example, even just making the sign of the cross. When we make the sign of the cross, our right hand will make the sign of the cross. So what's my left hand doing? It looks kind of silly, just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. So we always place our left hand on our chest when it doesn't have anything specific to do. This might be the case of making the sign of the cross, like we just said, or it might be when you're holding a water and wine cruet and they take one from you, you would then put your other hand on your chest. It might be when you're ringing the bells at the consecration. Your one hand is on your chest, your other hand is ringing the bells. It might be when you are assisting with a communion pattern at Holy Mass, your hand is on your chest as you assist any fragments or particles or a host that might fall, my other hand is on my chest. So when I make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Being attentive to all of these gestures helps us lead the people of God to be all the more attentive to what's taking place at the altar, which is so very, very important. So thank you for your attentiveness during this video as we reviewed how to sit, how to stand, our hands, our head, our bowing, and our other hand during the celebration of Holy Mass.